first career game against the reigning ACC Most Improved Player in a preseason All-ACC selection, Quinton Post, who wins the jump. And we are off and going in the season opener here from Conti Forum. Absolutely. He was, you know, a top 100 recruit coming out of St. Andrews in Rhode Island. Quinton Post, first chance, no. Second effort, good. So Post, in his grad year after starting his career at Mississippi State, his third season with Boston College after he missed the first 13 games last year due to injury, ended up playing 19 for the season. And that's as big as anything as Jaden Zachary off the turnover and is blocked. Bryson Goodine in good position, but the follow from Post. Well, this is textbook Jaden Zachary here, the poke. He catches Goodine sleeping, picks his pocket. Great recovery for the block by Goodine, but no quit on the play by McLaughlin. Feeds Post crashing in. And no choice but to give the foul and need a lot of free throws. Well, and that's going to be important, right? Especially in the Metro. Bryson Goodine out front, beat Madsen and puts it in. Nice home run pass there, design off of the press coming out of the timeout by Boston College. But to finish the point about Fairfield's three point defense, and when we talked to Chris Casey, he said this league is full of unbelievable guards and you have to be able to defend them. Adson's three-pointer was way off, but ended up a league bay with a rebound, and then Armani Mighty follows it up. Michael Rogan, a little bit short on the three to answer. Already five turnovers for Fairfield. Elijah Strong, the freshman's in there for the first time for Boston College. There's Post! 11 one to go in the first. Quinton Post. Two, and three now. Madsen steps away, three-pointer, a little bit short. Bounced around a couple of times before Peyton Smith found the rebound. Nice and good eye against Hand, draws the foul and the buckets. Defenses from a man-to-man -man into a zone. Madsen got lost in the shuffle and then this has not mattered so far with the 36 to 21 lead. Good eye answers. Already one shy of his season high from last year. And he knows he's going to have to play a big role tonight. You mentioned early on a couple of the guys that are missing for Fairfield. Here's a three. Good eye. Got it in a foul. Significant role with Fairfield, as we talked about, down a bunch of key pieces, and Goodine has come to play tonight. I think a big part of that was Quinton Post was off the floor. Chance inside is blocked at the rim from Goodine. That was Post there, Elite Bay was in there as well, and then it's turned over to Jasper Floyd. Floyd on the run. Goodine, what a slam! Home defense here by Harris. Tough giveaway there by Elite Bay. Just kind of got caught in the backcourt without any help. No one came to help him. Here's Goodine inside against Post. Couldn't finish. And Zachary found the rebound and running in transition. Downhill, Zachary. It's guys like Jaden Zachary, and it's moments like that where he creates a defensive play, goes in transition, then causes another turnover and leaves the guys like Quick Post knocking down the shot. A six to shoot, Jasper Floyd. Not quite there. Well, Boston College just forcing Fairfield into a ton of tough shots. Deep into the timer. Quick Post, got it! The students go a hard hat sticker. Waddell Harris, nice move and a foul. Yeah, Brown just late to the party there. Madsen back in for Boston College, has knocked down a few threes. Here's Payne, a bit strong from three, but an offensive rebound by Clockton in the foul. This is what you love from McLaughlin. He's just. He's not going to get out of his comfort zone. It's always going to crash the boards. Another guy, well, Grant was talking about McLaughlin and Zachary is kind of the glue guys of this group. What a move by Louis Bleach 
Moore. Out to Payne, and that will likely do. 89-70 is the final as Boston College wins the opener.